part 35, who the fuck did I marry? So I packed up all his stuff. Okay. The reason why I packed up all his stuff is because, so I had a three bedroom, two and a half bath townhome. One room was the guest room. Obviously, there was a master bedroom. And then we had a TV room that he had made like his Philadelphia Eagles man cave. I was going to put everything that belonged to him, pack it up and put it in the TV room because the plan should have been that he's going to come back and get all his stuff. Okay, so that's why I did it. Um, And honestly, it just felt good (laughs) to pack up his stuff and and go through it freely because when he packed in a hurry he left obviously really important things he left all his Invicta watches he left all his WWE championship belts and if you know anything about WWE championship belts you know those things are expensive he left all his Jordans he left um suits he left uh Cole Haan shoes left all that because he it was such a hurry for him to leave so all that was still in my house um so around 2 30 I think I, I wasn't even at a place where I could start crying I was just too angry still shaking packing everything up packing everything up one of the things that he left um is a photo album with all the pictures of his mom and dad and his siblings growing up Now, I had the thought of I was going to have a burn party and I was going to put it on Facebook Live. I was going to burn it with my friends and drink and dance and play music. But um, it's his deceased parents. I do have a heart. So I put that somewhere special, meaning I put it up in the closet. Um, he had told me that he was going to come back and get his stuff. And so I just did not, I I didn't throw anything out unless it was like something I knew was trash. Other than that, I put everything up and kept it, you know, in the TV room. So that's June 17th. Also on June 17th, I had already ordered his birthday cake. I had ordered the birthday cake like the end of May because it was like a special birthday cake. So I also had to go get the birthday cake <laughs> from the bakery in East Point. Um, and I took it to my family's house and we ate it. Yes, I had left the house, um, went to my family's house, filled them in my aunt my little cousin and my grandfather because my mom was in Arkansas. So went over to their house, filled them in on what was going on. They could not believe it. Although my grandfather then told me, he said, he ain't look like he was a football player. He was like, I ain't want to say nothing, but he ain't look like he was a football player. <laughs> Gotta love grandparents. Um, so we ate his birthday cake. Went back home. Um, the friend that I had called, came changed all the locks changed I changed the security codes um effectively he would not have been able to get in that house so that is what happened on June 17th so now we can fast forward he he would text me and he would call me that he got to Philly apparently he drove through he left Georgia and immediately went to Philly So he immediately went to Philly um, and he did text me and said that he made it to Philly and he was staying at his aunt's house. I know that this is a short part. That's okay because what we're doing now is I went through how we met. I went through how we dated. I went through how we got married. Um, Now I'm taking you all to June 17th. The week after June 17th, He's in Philly. He still would call me. He still would um, text me. The conversations we were having the week after June 17th. So this would be June 18th up to the 24th. The conversations we are having had to do with divorce. So who's going to file? And he was like, well, I don't want a divorce. I'm going to fight you on it. Are you? really? Are you going to fight me on the divorce? Um, 
I didn't know anything about filing for a divorce. So, but I refused to stay in a place of ignorance. So I um, went online. There's a website that you can go to where you pay like a $200, $239 fee. And you fill out basic information and you choose your state. You choose your state and they will um, process, not process, but they will make all your documents. All you got to do is print it out and take it to the court. And it is step by step directions. We didn't have any property with each other. We didn't have any kids with each other. So by the state of Georgia's standards, this should be an uncontested divorce. So the conversation that last week, the week of June 18th to the 24th, was about divorce. What stuff do you want to keep? Well, I'm going to come and get all my stuff. I just don't understand why you couldn't talk to me about it. I said, there's no room for talking because you've been lying to me since day one. Um, But even still, keep in mind, as of June 17th, June 18th, June 19th, I did not know what I know now. So the lies were really only like, 5% of the whole story. So June 24th or 25th is when I had printed my documents. And I'm laughing because at this point in time, I've read y'all's comments about how that man will print out stuff. I know. But um, I used the website, typed all my stuff in, got my documents. And then I went Um, I took a day off from the job because I was getting ready to transition into the new job. So I left work early, went to the courthouse and filed for divorce. I filed. I paid. Um, And then I already had the documents where he would have needed to sign so that um, it could then be entered into for a divorce settlement agreement. So going into part 36 or 35, I know there's so many parts. Going into the next part is where I can tell you guys what happened with him. Because he drove to Philly and he was in Philly for about a week, maybe three to four days. (sighs) Then I get a message on Facebook Messenger from a woman claiming to be his cousin. Lord Jesus. So the cousin tells me, actually, I can tell y'all. So the cousin tells me that he's there. He's telling the family that I kicked him out. He's telling the family that I kicked him out after he walked in on me having an affair. That I stole his money and I then kicked him out. And the man I was having an affair with, he said, was a law enforcement officer who used his duty weapon to threaten him to get out the house. This is what he told his family. And the cousin was reaching out to me. She found my she found me through a search on Facebook and was reaching out to me because she's like, we know he lies. So I'm just trying to figure out what Like, is this true? Because he's up here asking us for money, asking to stay on our couches. Like, what's what's going on? Then she explained to me, we didn't even know he got married. So this is the first time we're hearing about you. What do you mean you didn't know he got married? He talks to his brother every day. She said, who told you that? I said, I've heard him talk to his brother every day. All his brothers. She said, all his brothers. How many brothers do you think he has? I said, he has four brothers. I named them. She said, he has two brothers. She got. She said, he has the twin and he has the older brother. I said, twin? Who is the twin? Welcome to the next part where we discover the real family tree.